All right, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm here with Dante Fowler Jr. I wanted to talk to you about your coming back from injury. Yeah. Because basically, all of my followers know that I've had hamstring injuries, I've had yeah. certain things that have put me out from training. Yeah. How did you find it coming, like, after the injury? Did that have an impact in, like, your mindset or anything like yeah. that? Yeah, mentally, mentally it had an impact, you know. Uh, just on my mind, uh, like if I was going to be the same, yeah. uh, if I was going to come back stronger. Because it was an ACL tear. Yeah, it was an ACL yeah, tear. Yeah. So my mind was all over the place. You know, a lot of people say, you know, that's the worst injury and stuff like that. But it's just really mental. I had to get over that mental barrier, work hard. You know, it's, it's times where, you know, I feel like I'm putting in the work, but I'm not getting the results. But you just got to keep working hard. Physically, um, Mentally, it kind of still, you know, it still mess with you when you want to cut and do stuff. But the more stronger you get, the more confident you get. So yeah. I feel like, you know, in those situations when guys have to deal with certain injuries like that, you just got to gotta hit it hard. And if you know you've been working hard and you put in all the work, then you won't really have to necessarily worry about you need the whole time, you know. So it takes a little bit of pressure off you, but at the end of the day, yeah. still, you know, ACL tear stuff like that. So you want to be careful. I still wear my knee brace. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah, I just been okay. two years, but I just wear it for protection. It makes me feel better. So yeah. Um, another good thing is I'm stronger. I'm way more stronger than what I used to be. My hamstrings way more stronger than what it was. My quad is. I'm faster than what I used to yeah. be. Just a lot more powerful and explosive. So you just got to put in the work. Yeah. Because that's what I was. I was trying to say to my followers is that, like me coming back from this injury, I feel like it would be better. Yeah, because I'll, I'll be able to. I'm working on the the weaknesses exactly, rather than just before. I just working on the strengths, exactly. and playing to my strengths. Yep. But, um, when you do that, you'll be fine. You know, you just like when I when I tore mine, I was working on stuff that I didn't even know that I had. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I'm it's way more stronger than what it was. I'm just happy to be back on the field, and tearing yeah. it up. How did it feel coming back and then getting the fumble for the return? It felt good. <laughs> I cribbed it, took it to the crib. You know, I'm a defensive end, so yeah. whenever we get opportunities like that, we like to make the most of them. Yeah. Luckily, I didn't get caught, uh, so that was another good thing. I yeah, hope yeah. I can uh, take one to the house in London. Yeah, yeah. Cool. You excited for the game? Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I love being out here. It's a really cool atmosphere. It's really hot in Florida too, so it's kind of good to, you know, come here in some nice cool weather and just hang out. <laughs> I'm trying to get back. I'm trying to head out there. Yeah, I'm it's done like, with this cold. Yeah, it's like opposite. You know, y'all trying to get over there. We trying to come up here, but yeah. it's all it's all good. It's all love. Yeah. But how do how, also how do you feel about the whole UK scene? Have you ever have you watched the UK American football game? Uh, I think I have. I watch a lot of football. Yeah. Whether it's like arena, Canadian, mm. UK. I watch the USA versus the world. Okay. I watch all that stuff. I watch the little flat football tournament you guys yeah, be yeah. having. So, I mean, I keep up with the UK. I like the UK. Um, it's really nice. Because I actually, I played in Finland. Played in Finland? Yeah, yeah. What and position? Then, um, uh, running back and safety. Okay. And um, they bring over Americans as well. So there was one guy that actually played for USC. Mm -hmm. But then... Yeah, a lot of the people that couldn't make the NFL play in Europe. Yeah. So that was an eye opener for me. That's for sure. Like, I was, I was there. Defensive types of talent. <sighs> different type of people. It was so quick. Yeah. Like it was the, the speed difference was because like the UK scene is is good, but mm -hmm. like the the speed and because like you guys play for such a young age. Yeah. We start from when we're like 21. Yeah. See, it's different. So <laughs> we've, we've been trained. You know, I, I I started playing when I was four. So my dad forced me into it and <laughs> trained me into an assassin. So now yeah, just it is what it is. But it's a lot of it's a lot of good time all across the country. It's really cool just to like see like you guys play football, American yeah. football, because you know you guys play soccer a lot. You take yeah. pride in that to see you guys. You know. Like us, uh, oh, I'm terrible. Want to play? So, yeah, <laughs> he can vouch for me. <laughs> but yeah, thanks a lot, man. Right, thanks for taking your time for sure. Sure. Yeah. sure. Good luck for Sunday. Thank you. That's me. Great interview from the man himself that's come back from an injury. So, you know, I wanted to bring you guys value for the series of you know stuff that you can be doing to come back from injury. And I always mention the mindset. Mindset is a huge thing. And you've heard it from the man himself. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'm out. Whipping excursion. I got a pick of that person. In the trap. Keeping that working. You know a gangster, you're just an internet version.